Welcome back to the John Malone Show. Well, Brittany Griner, who's a WNBA athlete, is still being held in Russia right now. She's been detained for apparently having drugs on her. So this is uh, this was this happened, I guess, a week before the invasion uh, from Russia into Ukraine. And the United States State Department, whenever situations like this happen, whenever there's something going on in a foreign country, they they let their citizens know you, know, you might want to leave that area. You know, there's something going on. Um, so this is this is a little strange that she's being detained in Russia for transporting drugs. They're saying that she had vape pens in her luggage and cartridges that were full of hashish oil. I don't know if this is true. This is this is all speculative. Uh, this is just what Russia is claiming is that she had drugs on her and she was trying to transport drugs back to the United States. So I don't know if she was trying to get out of Russia and, and this isn't very well covered in the news. In fact, it's almost getting no coverage, even from the sports networks. So this is what this is a little bit interesting to me. So you know, was she trying to to leave Russia because of the invasion or the impending invasion that was supposed to be happening? Again, you gotta remember the timeline. This is like, I think a week before the invasion that she was trying to leave and got detained at an airport when they checked her luggage and, and found these vape pens in there. So at that point, is, is Russia using her as a pawn piece, you know, for their you know, political gain for whatever's going on with uh, their involvement in, in this, you know, invasion into Ukraine. And why didn't our State Department do any more to help her out? I, again, like, I don't know a whole lot about political, you know, or foreign affairs or anything like that. I, I'm not a lawyer. I just, I, when I see these things, I try to figure out why, what, what's, what's going on? What are we not being told? What did she do? Uh, trying to put the pieces together. So impromptu detective work. <laughs> so with, with what's going on over there and them holding her, can our state department not, could they have not gotten involved sooner? You know, like anytime, you know, we have people trying to leave like Afghanistan, right? That, that had been happening for weeks. We saw all the news coverage of, you know, from all the media saying, you know, anybody that's a United States citizen, if they, if they need to get out of, you know, Afghanistan, we have planes, we will help you, we'll send you money, whatever you need to get out of Afghanistan, we'll do our best to help you out. And you have to imagine that, you know, the State Department and the U.S. government has, you know, is tracking people's visas, their passports, you know, to say like, okay, who, who, who do we have, you know, overseas and, and who do we have in Russia right now? Okay, let's contact them, let's contact their family, let's find if they've made it back home, are they still over there? What do we need to do? You know that they have a list, right? <laughs> or, and if they don't, by God, what, what the hell are we doing? They should certainly have a list. You know, so so who do we need to still get out of there? And and uh, have we reached out to them? And do they even want to leave? If they don't want to leave. Okay, then they're on their own at that point. But with this, with Brittany, you know, this whole thing about vape pens and hashish, you know, it's like what, THC oil? You know, I try not to get into the politics of like, you know, why is she smoking this stuff or why she use a vape pen? She's an athlete. None of that should matter at this point. None of that should matter. And in the hypocrisy of Russia, you know, where, where this is a, a banned substance, it's a, you know, this is a, an illegal drug. Yet all the, all of their athletes, you know, that we've known over the years and even recently in the Winter Olympics, you know, the, the one figure skater who had, you know, drugs in her body. What are they going to do to her? Nothing, because the Russian government put those drugs in her. So it's it's a little disconcerting to, to see that she's still over there and our State Department can't do, it, seemingly can't do anything about it. I saw a report on the news and they had a, a congressman from, uh, or a senator from Philadelphia, and I think he was a congressman from Philadelphia, and, and I guess he, he works, you know, in a, in a group that kind of helps with these situations. And he said, I can't tell you like where she is or where they're holding her or any of this information other than I can tell you that she's fine. Is she fine? If you were detained in Russia, would you be fine? This is like a really bad episode of Locked Up Abroad.
I know when I think of these things and I try to figure out these solutions of like, how can we rectify this or what could we have done? You know, not, not, was it like a week and a half ago, there was a, a jet that came in uh, and picked up, you know, Russian dignitaries to get them out of the United States. Right. So like, we're going to close down our Russian embassy or our, our embassy in Russia, and we're going to bring all of those people back or get them at least out of Russia. I don't know if they go to Germany or wherever but getting them out of there. And then the same thing here, let's get every, all the Russians out of here, out of the United States. So while that plane was full of these Russian dignitaries, did our state department not to think, Hey, let's hold that plane. Let's play their game. Let's hold that plane. And we're not going to let it take off from foreign, you know, from American soil until we get our people back until you send until you release Brittany and a lot of these other people who have nothing to do with this they're not involved in politics you know she's an athlete she's a WNBA you know superstar 31 year old basketball player like they loved her when she was playing there Russia did I, I this this just seems so nonsensical this garbage where we're using people as, as you know pawn pieces whether they're a celebrity or not, no government should be doing this. But to think our State Department is seeming, seemingly doing as little as possible. And again, I don't know, right? They, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. They might be working feverishly around the clock to try to get her back. Doesn't seem that way, though. And, and who else do they have there? So we're just hearing about Brittany. Are there any other, you know actors musicians athletes you know I, I don't know what can we do to get these people back but we had an opportunity at one point like i said to have that where those that plane of russians was heading back over that we couldn't have said hey let's use this as an opportunity to to use uh, this as leverage or would that have escalated things would russia have seen that as our involvement in the war i mean it's they literally have us over a barrel. And that's why they're going to keep doing whatever they're going to do. Russia and Putin are going to keep, you know, once they get Ukraine, is Poland next? Is, you know, Moldova next? It's not like he's just going to say, well, hey, I got Ukraine. I'm my, that's all I wanted. Or is it? it? We don't know. But we're kowtowing to every, you know, everything that he's doing right now. And we're putting on all these soft demands instead of like focusing on how do we get people like Brittany back? I, I can't even imagine what she's going through. You know, the uncertainty of her future. Is she going to spend 10 years in a Russian prison for having a few cartridges of hashish? If that's, if she even had this, or were these just regular nicotine vape pens? You know, and they're making up these trumped up charges just to use her as a pawn. So will she be a casualty of war? I don't know. What are, what are your thoughts on this? When you see these things, when you hear about these stories, how do you, how does this make you feel? Especially with our government right now, inflation's through the roof, gas prices are going through the roof. You've got the vice president, you know, doing the European tour right now, laughing like a hyena. It's just ridiculous. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. This is this is getting so frustrating. And I wonder how many people even care about this war here in America. With everything that we've gone through with the pandemic and high gas prices, that's all I see on social media every day. Everybody's complaining about the gas prices. High inflation. And, and we just signed a bill, our Senate signed a bill yesterday to send... $1.5 trillion in aid to Ukraine. And we can't fix our homelessness crisis here. We still have people that can't pay their bills and their rent and, and buy groceries here in the United States. We're, we're, we are still in a pandemic. Nobody said, hey, it's 100% gone. We still have states with mass mandates. You know, it's, this is, Or do people just get tuned out? Do you just say, oh, I, I literally can't take any more of this. I can't watch another thing on the news. I can't watch another YouTube clip about this stuff. I'm just done. Or are you that point?
I don't know. Let, let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment down below. I pray for I pray for Brittany and her family. I, I hope they let her out. I hope Russia realizes this is such a trivial thing to involve somebody like this in and to let her go. I That's what I hope. Brittany, if you're out there, we love you. We care about you. We hope for your safe return. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are, folks. And again, if you enjoy my content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll talk to you next time on The John Malone Show.